Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I happened to see on uh, DistroWatch that um, the new Debian version of Deepin was released. Now, the Debian, normally they were using a uh, Ubuntu base, but this is the first version with a uh, Debian base. But uh, I was also sad to see that um, the, the father of Debian, Ian Murdoch, uh, has passed away. So it's uh, a sad coincidence that Deepin releases their first Debian-based version, the first Debian-based uh, Deepin distribution, and um, it's on the same day that uh, around the same time that uh, Ian Murdoch has passed away. Um, Debian, the Ian in Debian is Ian Murdoch. And I believe his uh, wife at the time, not sure if they're still married, but his wife at the time, her, her name was Deb. And so that's how he came up with the name Debian. Um, I first started using Linux back in the early 90s, um, and my first taste of Linux was a Debian distribution, and I don't recall the, the name of the distribution at the time, it's no longer around, but uh, I was fascinated, and I was, I was installing it, um, my first computer was a Commodore 64 and I at the time uh, basic programming uh, was being used and uh, so I went to school to learn basic programming uh, which I don't really think it's being used today but um, it was uh, an interesting uh, uh, software or interesting programming language and I did learn it, and I um, learned how to program in BASIC. Um, and so that was my first introduction to Linux back in the early 90s. And so um, it is sad to see that uh, Ian Murdoch has passed away uh, Wednesday, December 30th, 2015. So... If you want to take a look and read a little bit about uh, Ian Murdoch, they do have a link from the DistroWatch announcement, um, and you can pull that up and do a little reading. But he, his contribution to open source and uh, the Linux community in general is immeasurable. Um, and so um, it's a sad day to see that he has passed away. Uh, so, on a brighter note, uh, let's take a look at the new Deepin with Debian as its base. Now, I went to the Deepin website, and I'm sure they have more information here. Um, this is the announcement. And I'm not sure exactly why they moved away from Ubuntu, um, but they have, and now it's a Debian-based distribution. So one of the things that um, I'm not sure if it's a bug or it's supposed to be this way, but uh, and those of you who have been using Deb, uh, Deepin for a while may have some input on this. Um, it's a GNOME base. I installed the GNOME tweak tool, uh, but I'm not able to get this top panel. And so I'm not sure. And now normally, I believe with Deepin in the past, I did have the top panel. I don't see it here. Now the, 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 um, Control Center, I'll move this over, 
the control center uh, doesn't have any indication that there's a way to get that top panel with notifications. So it's a little bit odd because I'm used to having the notifications for volume and network and things like that. So I'm sure it's here somewhere. I just haven't come across it yet. Now, one of the things for home, you've got basically a menu of your uh, configuration options. And so for personalization, it's basically window, icon, cursor, wallpaper, and fonts. I don't see anything for the panel. Now, interestingly, when I install Deepin, it's really meant for uh, novices. They don't give you too many options on the install. So, for example, um, I wasn't able to select whether or not I wanted a bootloader um, installed. Normally, I don't because I have Manjaro basically controlling the uh, grub. Uh, in this case, it didn't offer me the, the option. So, let's take a look back here. Now, if you do have uh, a problem with the boot, let's see, here's your boot menu. Um, as you can see, right now the default boot is deepen. Um, you can change it. Now I have Zubuntu, I have uh, Architect, Manjaro, they're all installed on this computer. So you can change that here. You can also add a boot delay, change your boot text color, and, uh, and the select text color. And this is basically what the boot screen looks like. So let's see mouse power management date and time sound uh, I've got the microphone uh, it, I had to configure everything basically for the um, I'm using voco screen uh, I had to configure everything for as far as the microphone input and the speaker inputs and things like that for network I've got a wired uh, connection but uh, don't have any wireless on this computer. And personalize, it doesn't have anything about the panel. And so there must be a way of getting the panel up top where it normally belongs on a GNOME based in, uh, installation, but I haven't found a way to do that. Okay, so let's take a look at the launcher. We have, what am I hiding here? Pull that down the bottom. Okay, so we've got calculator, control center. We've got a boot maker, movie. Uh, basically, Deepin has all of their uh, multimedia uh, basically controlled by them. Uh, they don't allow you too much changes. I did install SM Player and uh, I installed Voco Screen. Um, so now as far as driver manager goes, um, I'm sure that it would pick up my Broadcom on the other computer. Now I have NVIDIA on this computer and I'm not sure if it picked it up. I'm sure it picked it up, but I'm not sure if it installed it. So we'll take a look to see if I have. Uh, so no, it's, it's using the Nouveau uh, open source driver, but it's giving me the option for NVIDIA 340 or 352. And you can use the Intel microcode or not. Now I noticed lately that 
if I use the Intel microcode, I do have some issues at times with the icons showing properly. So I'm not sure if that's a uh, microcode issue, but um, for example, on an architect install, it's kind of weird, but uh, I'm getting uh, icon issues on architect installs. And I did a little research and it appears it's it's related to the microcode, but can't be 100% sure. So I'm going to leave everything the way it is right now. Uh, it is running smoothly. However, as I said, I don't see the panel along the top. And I don't see any way of adding that. Let's see. We've got the calendar and the dock shut down. Trash. Got uh, network connections, volume. So that's probably why they eliminated that panel up top because the network connections and the volume, everything is down below. Shut down, calendar, everything is on the dock itself. So I'm not sure if they will even allow you to get that um, panel up top now as I said I did uh, download the gnome tweak tool and let me see if I can pull that up and it's not even listed here um, but let's see if I can I can pull it up on the terminal so if I pull it up on the terminal you can I'm, and I'm not sure how much of this Deepin will allow you to control. It does have an option for themes, but as you can see, it is only the Deepin theming. It does not allow you. You'd have to go in and add other themes, and even then I'm not sure. Um, now, it, it is allowing me to select a dark theme but I'm not sure if it's gonna actually take. You see icons on the desktop? And that's grayed out. Looks like it's not allowing it. Fonts, keyboard and mouse. Uh, startup applications, there's nothing listed. See now here, if you had that panel up the top, this is where you would show the applications menu and if you show the date, as you can see, nothing's happening and there's no option for calendar. So everything is pretty much grayed out. It doesn't, I changed this from four to one and that appeared to have worked. But um, the, even the GNOME tweak tool is not as effective as it normally is with a GNOME based install. So, and I think they do that so that the average user who do, who's not gonna be messing with things is not gonna mess up their installation. So that is the new Debian based um, Deepin and I'm not sure how much you'll even notice really because if you are going to be installing packages it's going to use the same apt get install as Ubuntu uses because Ubuntu had the Debian uh, as pa for package management so it's going to be pretty um, seamless I think um, it's just really the nuts and bolts under the hood and so um, now you won't have access to the Ubuntu repos or so that could affect your ability to uh, install some packages. Uh, Debian doesn't allow PPAs, for example. So 
it could be a little bit of a challenge and I'm sure there will be some somewhat of a learning curve for existing deep end users some may not want to make the change from their Ubuntu based deep end to this new Debian based deep end but again that is the new Debian uh, deep end um, it's a little bit different and for those of you who want to have a little more control over your system it's probably not for you but uh, and some people have a little bit of an issue with the uh, fact that it is from China um, I had to translate this page um, so it is based in China some people have a little bit of an issue with that I don't think it's a major issue to be honest with you um, so that is Debian uh, Deepin. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.